Shalom, shalom. First off and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great Millstone, for teaching me this truth according to the Bible and the spirit and power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? They were the uh, 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 true Hebrew Israelites, right? Coming in week in and week out to prophesy uh, uh, the words. Of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, the things that's coming in the future, the things that's gonna uh, 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 come into your life, you know, these events that's gonna come into your life, that you know, if the elect will obtain, or, or, or that the elect they will obtain this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right, and change their ways to be uh, pleasing unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, right, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, the Son of the Most High Yahweh Shah, right. Be pleasing unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai and uh, receive salvation, right? But the rest of the uh, population, right, of the earth, right, they're going to be in incredulous times. They're going to be in a, a, a path of extreme difficulty and they're going to receive destruction, you know, right? So, hey, that's the times that we're coming in, right? We're coming in the times of Yahweh Shai returning, or we're coming in the time. Of uh, uh, the salvation of the elect of the nation of Israel, right? We're coming in the time of uh, 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 World War III, right? Uh, uh, race wars, right? Class wars, right? Uh, uh, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, right? These are the things that we're that we're uh, looking for. These are the things that uh, are gonna play on the earth, right? Everybody talking about this Russian Ukraine thing, right? It says in the in the scriptures, uh, uh, the least of them shall uh, uh, the uh, the least the least of them shall draw them out. Roughly paraphrasing, right? So it's not going to be uh, uh, the huge nation attacks huge nation. It's going to start with smaller nations, right? Right, and then build up into this huge uh, 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 escalation, you know. So what we're 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 in those times, right? But you also have to remember the other prophecies. You have to remember the MOTB. You have to remember uh, 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 the concentration camps. You got to remember the race wars. That's all these things that are coming, you know? Right? And what we're giving it to you, uh, we're giving you the 100% truth. They're not going to teach this in the church, right? They don't have this in the church, right? They're not going to be able to get this in the church, right? But what we have... Right, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, we're giving you that truth, you know, we're giving you that uh, 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 that clean water, you know, we're giving you that purified gold, you know, right, and uh, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is using his men to push this out, you know, whether you hear or you forbear, you know, right, so this is um. Actually, let me start. Let me start here. This is Hebrews 1 and 1. It says, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Right? So in, in the times past, he's spoken unto the prophets, right? Spoken to the to the fathers, right? Uh 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 by the prophets, right? By uh, our ancient, our ancient ones, which is really us, right? Uh uh which is really you, right? Right, because hey, it, uh, the reincarnation exists in the scriptures. You know, you're, you, you've been here before, you know? 
everybody say, um, uh, um, uh, oh, you only live once, that, that's a false narrative, you know, that they push, that's false philosophy, you know? That's just, that's just uh, the tip of the iceberg, right? Right? It says, um, uh, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, who at sun-dried times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Right? And what we're 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 doing the same, we're in the same stead as a uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, right? We're we're Yahweh Shai's servants, right? We're we're Yahweh Shai's men, right? The same things that he did, we're we're gonna be uh, doing, right? And it says in greater, right? So we're gonna be pushing this word because he was pushing this word, you know. And and what people get so confused between the uh, Old Testament and New Testament and the uh, Apocrypha and such like that, right? But Yahweh was uh, speaking of the uh, Apocrypha and he was speaking of the Old Testament, you know. Right. That's why we use the whole role, right? Even in the script, in, in the New Testament, it talks about uh, 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 the volume of the book, the whole book. You know, so we're dealing with the whole book, right? You got you got people that uh, call themselves Christians, who call themselves believing in the Bible, but then they say they only believe in the New Testament, but they only believe in certain parts of the New Testament. You know, and they keep cutting. You know, we believe in this whole book. You know, this whole book is a. a, a uh, a non-fiction, you know. All this is true, you know. Right? All this, all this holds weight, you know. If you get, if you get, um, what is it? The uh, the Quran and stuff. That that's garbage, you know. That that's uh, uh, that, you you rip those pages out and throw them in the uh, uh, fire, you know. You know to. But no, you might you might inhale something bad in there. You might you might let demons out or something if you do that, right? It says, "Who being the brightest of his glory, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the Majesty on high, right?" It says, being made so much better than the angels, uh, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent uh, name than they. For unto which of the angels said, He at any time, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. Right? So what? With with this, Yahweh Shah, he, he was elevated. Uh, uh, over over the angels, right? The only one that's above Yahweh Shad is Yahweh. You know? It says and 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 they they also push a, a push a false narrative talking about um, that uh uh Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, the son and the uh um uh, uh the the father are the same, right? No, it's not like that, right? They're um they're in agreement, right? They're not, they're not the absolute same essence, you know? Even though we all come from the spirit of Yahweh, you know? Right? Yahweh made Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah made everything else, right? It says, um, and that's, that's, in, that's the perfect one. Right? So let's, let's stick with this. It says, it says, and again, when he bringeth in the first begotten in the world, he sat and let all the angels of Yahweh worship him. And of the angels, he said, who maketh his angel spirits and his ministers flame of fire? It says, but unto the son, he saith, thy throne, O power, is forever and ever. The scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom, right? And what? We're, we're coming into the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be uh, uh, basically Yahweh. Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shah's kingdom, right? Yahweh Shah is going to be uh, uh, the ruler, right? He, he's going to establish righteousness upon the earth, right? And it's, really, and it's really starting with establishing righteousness within us, his men, right? That's pushing pushing his name, right? The Heavenly Father's name and the Son's name, you know? And uh, lifting up that standard, 
you know? Because what, Yahweh is coming back to establish righteousness on, on the planet Earth, right? What, whether we like it or not, right? It's going to happen because what? It's prophecy, you know? Now, the way the, way the world is right now, it's all wickedness, you know? Wickedness is being pushed. Wickedness is being pushed uh, uh, at an extremely high level, right? And even more each, each day that goes by, you know? It says, um, it says, verse 9, Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, Yahweh, even thy power, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou remainest. They all shall wax old as doth a garment, and as a vesture shalt thou fold them up. And they shall be changed, but thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. But to which of the angels saith he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Right? So what we're, hey, that, that just establishes you, how it's God above the angels, you know? That, that shows you who you're supposed to be worshiping, you know? And, and there's there's another debate, right, or a uh, uh, discussion of uh, uh, that you're not if you're supposed to worship Yahweh Shah. Now, yeah, you're supposed to worship Yahweh Shah. You know, there's a lot there's a lot of false things going on. You know, false false uh, narratives that's going on throughout the earth. You know. The scriptures I want to hold them. Uh, Psalms 2 and I'm gonna start at 1 it says why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing right and that vain thing is that their society is gonna continue forever you know right that's a vain thing why because it doesn't line up with the prophecies right why well, why would you expect something that doesn't line up with the prophecies it's not gonna work out for you right it says, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us, right? Because they really want to get rid of us because what? They know that the uh, uh, words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh the actions of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh will come to pass, right? It says, he that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Why? Because they're going, they're going mad trying to keep their kingdom, right? They want to, they want to attack the prophets. They want to try to put us down. They want to try to demonize us. They're even trying to kill some of us, right? But it's still futile, you know, for them to think that they're gonna last or that they're gonna make some type of uh, uh, way of uh, 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 making more time for themselves. Right? It's just not going to work. Right? It says, He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Right? They sh then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And that's talking about Yahweh Shah. Right? So the same, the same thing that was written in uh, the New Testament, right, in the book of Hebrews 1, right, is written here in uh, the book of uh, Psalms, uh, uh, num uh, first, uh, chapter 2, right? It 
says, um, ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Right, so the heathen, right there, imagine a vain thing, thinking that they're gonna uh, uh, rule, find a way to rule forever, right? That's just vain, right? It's not gonna happen, right? So it says, uh, ask of me and I shall give you the heathen for thine inheritance. That's, that's the future, right, of these heathens, right? It says, in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So what, the, the uh, possession of the earth, right? It's not gonna matter if you uh, uh, spent uh, 30 years trying to buy this house or buy this uh, plot of land, you know? It doesn't matter how much land and how much resources you've got and you know people protecting that land hey all of that's gonna go to your house child right and it's gonna uh, uh trickle down onto us the uh, nation of israel right which are the negro latino and native american according to the um according to the scriptures right according to the prophecies right it says thou shalt break them with a rod of iron thou shalt break them in pieces like a potter's vessel be wise now, therefore, are ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. So that's the spirit that we got to be in, right? Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling, right? Because what? If we're not doing the things that we're supposed to do, we're going to have to pay for it. If we're not on the good side of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, that's a problem. Why? Because he's coming back to redeem uh, uh, his elect, right? He's coming back to redeem those that's doing the things pleasing onto him, right? He's not coming back for you uh, 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 smoking cigarettes and uh, uh, weed and getting tattoos and uh, going out clubbing, right? Or uh, chasing chasing money, right? And ch chasing females, right? He's not coming. He's not. He's not coming for you. You know, if you're doing, if you're doing it, if you're in that uh, uh, vibration. You know, if you submit to the uh, ways of Esau, Edom, the Edomites, right? If you submit unto their uh, uh, kingdom, right? He's not coming for you, right? It says, kiss the son lest he be angry, right? It says, 